Hi guys, this is Sandy here with Joel. Um, it's me. It's me. Guess what? We're not in the car. No, I'm here at home just like a real housewife of uh, Pueblo, Colorado. <laughs> in our little casita. Because it's too hot outside. Because it's too hot outside and we ain't going out there. But um, I did, uh, over the past few weeks, um, I have allowed myself to spend a little bit of money. Um, if you've known me for a while now, you know that I have this shopping problem that I love to shop. But I actually have kind of, I have a control, I have control over it now, don't you think, Dad? A little bit? Somewhat? It's, it's better than it was. It's way better than it was. So I actually allowed myself to, um, order a few things from Tokyo Pen Shop. Now, Tokyo Pen Shop, um, it is a small business, uh, online. Um, I don't know if she has a brick and mortar or not, if, if, uh, where they are. But anyway, if you go to Tokyo Pen Shop online, she has, um, a bunch of, uh, pens and stationery, yes, type things from Japan. I love, love, love to buy stationery and pens and everything from Japan because they, they go out of their way to, um, maybe over-engineer their pens. Maybe you could say, I'm not exactly sure about how you want to say it, but um, they just have just really neat pens and they're clicky and they're just, they're neat. I don't know how else to say it. So anyway, um, I just want, kind of wanted to share with you um, my haul that I got in today or yesterday rather. Um, what well, was today? It was today, huh? I'm getting worse than Biden. Um, yes, so um, just to kind of give you an idea. Is it still going? Yeah, it is. <laughs> this is like the second time I've done this and every time I get a call, it clicks me off and I'm like, seriously, you gotta be kidding me. Um, so anyway, let's just kind of go ahead and I'll kind of show you what is going to go into my pen case um, for this season of study um, into my Bible. So, first off, I did get a couple of new pan cases, and I hope I say them right. We'll start off with this one. This one is the Milu Rec pen case. It's in baby pink. It is one of the, uh, the smaller pen cases that they carry, um, but it is real leather, and I have a little thing that you can read that I got a little thank you card they send. Thank you so much for supporting our two small businesses with your milieu uh, purchase. Your item was handcrafted in a family workshop in Athens, Greece. We expect each milieu piece to be unique. Genuine quality leather shows its natural origin with wrinkles or markings. We hope you keep your milieu piece for years to come. Happy writing, Tokyo Pen Shop. Um, I hope I I'm saying that right. I'm probably not, and I apologize. Um, but I have, this is actually, I have another additional one like this other uh, that I bought years ago, and I absolutely love it in burgundy. So this is the uh, rec pen case, baby pink. Um, it's just your simple pen case, beautiful lining, fabric lining, and it's gorgeous. So I allowed myself that. And then the other one that I'm gonna be using is the Milieu uh, Estia accessory uh, bag in lilac. I couldn't decide, uh, honestly, I couldn't decide on which one to get, so I got both of them. I have uh, one like this as well in burgundy that I've had for about maybe four or five years now, and I love it, so I was like, well, I really want one. I also got a little sticker, Tokyo Pen Shop sticker that over there. Look at the lining on this one though. The fabric lining, isn't that gorgeous? I had a hard time. I, I'm one of those people who'll sit, sit there for hours just kind of like, I wonder which one I want. Isn't that pretty? It does have an, a zipper opening a pocket in there. So, okay. So we've started out with two of those. Let's see what we can put in them. Dad, you get to fill them. Oh, again? Yes, aren't you lucky? This is the second time I'm doing this. The first time it didn't work out because of, I don't know if I wasn't recording. I haven't done this in so long that I was like, I have no idea. I have no clue. Uh, first thing off is the Acro Ball. So I did get some refills. These are the um, 
Emily, Emily. I don't know if that's how you're, if I'm saying it right. I-L-M-I-L-Y, Acro. Um, this one is the emerald green. How pretty that is. The emerald green in a 0 0.5 millimeter black. And this is the um, Emily <laughs> Acro 0 0.5 millimeter, the 2023 edition, which I think this was kind of a last chance um, one actually. Yellow base pink which it looks that does look really pink on there huh it's more of a coral though it's very coral and they're beautiful i have a couple of the acro and it's actually one of my favorite pens to use so we have those so we're going to put these in our pink case you think with the pink or should go in the okay i'm asking dad for advice there and no dad this this i call him dad i wanted to make this clear just so everybody doesn't think i'm a freak here because you guys have really bad, I don't know. So I call dad because I have three children and they call him dad, so therefore his name is dad. We don't want to get confused. We don't want to get confused on things. And I call you mama. And yes, yes. But there's been a few times that people are just weird. I don't, I don't know, they just, people on YouTube, weird. I'm weird, but some people are just weird, weird. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. So anyway, <laughs> um, then we are going to the, these are these looked just these are just really simple pens. These are the Pentel Calm, but it's spelled C A L M E, and I think it's Calm, right? Um, let's see here, zero point three five millimeter. This is the blue with blue ink, and then we have the black and the black ink and the gray in the, um, the grayish white with black ink. What's really, I like about these is the, this is what I'm talking about, the clickers, look at, the clickers, I don't know what you call it. And so this is supposed to be for those people who don't like a harsh, a harsh writing pen, I guess. And if you're into pens, like if you really know the difference, you know between a harsh, um, a harsh clicker, a harsh, what you call it? I don't know. That's kind of not calm to me. I love clicking pens. I know. That's a nice. That's a nice clicker. That's just kind of one to sit there and, and click. So I don't know if that would calm you down. Then I would definitely say absolutely. This would be the pen for you. It's not too loud, too clicky, but just kind of. It feels good. It feels good, guys. So yeah, calm. So that's just your simple, your simple pen. I like that. You're gonna want one of these, Dad, I'm telling you. Those will go into the pink pen case. Um, and then I'm going to the Pentel Calm Multi. And I did get two of those, light pink and light blue. These are um, multi pens. We have the black, and those are very smooth and quiet, as you can tell. And then this also has a pencil function as well. And that's the pencil function. Which I still haven't figured out how to bring the, pen, the lead down though. Is it a shaker? No. Well, I guess I'm going to have to figure that out, huh? Or maybe there's no lead in it. I don't know, guys. Maybe I'll do another video at some point and figure that out. I'll have to, I'll have to let you know. So I got two of those. That'll go into the pink pen case. Pilot, um, Pilot Juice Up Music Collab. Again, this is just a simple pen, but it is so pretty. Um, it is a limited edition in the soft gray relaxing afternoon. There are four others to choose from, and um, it was hard not getting all of the choices. So, but look at how pretty, that this is the relaxing afternoon in soft gray. Isn't that pretty? And it's just a simple, there you go. Into the pink pen pouch and zebra, zebra blend. I had a hard time not getting all of the choices on this one also. On the limited edition, it's really hard not getting every single pen because it's, they're just so darn cute. 
So this is the Zebra Bland Multi, uh, Multi Pan Snoopy Limited Edition. I did get the beige, um, flat Snoopy, and the ivory in Curious Snoopy. But there was a pink, yellow, and a blue, and I really want to go back and get them. <laughs> but I don't know, or we'll see. And so on these, we just have the, um, these are fun, I'm telling you. The blend, I think the, the zebra blend is one of the favorites, to uh, people's favorites actually. So you have the blue, the red, and then the black is this one here. And they did this one, from what I understand, they did this one, the black, because that's the color that's used by, used most by people, so. And so that's a nice, let's see if that's a nice clicker. Yeah, that's a nice clicker too. Let's see, and people who love pens, you know. You know when you get a good clicker, you know. That's a good clicker, guys. And it's supposed to be weighted, more weight towards the bottom, so it's an, a nice writing experience, I guess. Into the pink one, into the pink pen pouch. Okay, and let's see. Oh, and so then I have, I bought three of these because they were only like 89 cents. This is the Pilot Juice uh, 10th Anniversary in Banana Smoothie. It is a yellow, uh, yellow, yellow uh, color. Um, and it was actually the only color that was still available. But um, I, I have a, an idea for these that I wanted the yellow for my Bibles and um, also for a, a review of um, things that I'm going to do. So I've got three of those. And those go into the pink pen case as well. Let's see here. And then, ah, this is, this was a really good buy actually, this one here. This was the, um, the Pilot Emily, Emily, I'm going to have to figure out how to say that. It doesn't sound, doesn't flow off of my tongue right. Nuance pen. Um, and notepad set um, came in black brown um, they only had two choices available that were still available rather um, and that was the black brown which I do love that color of ink and uh, they had it in black available as well still um, so this is I do got a free free notepad let me show you what's in the notepad here. Just a simple notepad and then your pen. And it's a twist. Is it a twist? No. Oh, that's neat. See, see what I'm telling you? Those are so neat. Oh, see, I can feel now between that calm and then this one, this is a harsher click. I can totally feel that. See that? I know some people think you're just silly. This doesn't make a difference, but no, it does. When you do a lot of writing and a lot of journaling or a lot of whatever, it does make a difference. Your, your writing experience, it makes a difference. So this will go into my pink pen case. Uh, okay, and then we have, what should we go to next? Mm. We have the Sarasa Clip Deco Shine. Yay. This is the Sarasa Clip Deco Shine. I did get the five color set, but I didn't want just the five color set because, you know, I wanted the whole set. So I did the additional colors. I think these were last chance, though, in the orange, blue, and pink as well. And so that's the metallic shine. They're shiny. And I think that would. Um, just be a nice experience as I'm doing some Bible study. This makes your Bible look kind of like yay and you know happy and you know. We were talking earlier about how um, long ago uh, it, it used to be it was kind of a sin to write in your Bible. You know we were talking about that like we always we're always taught you should not write in your Bible. You should not write in your Bible. And these days um, I'm finding that uh, writing in your Bible is sometimes a way of learning because some of us learn by auditory by hearing or some of us learn uh, visually and I'm a visual learner and so when I write something down it's easier for me to remember it so um, I love the idea of writing in my Bible so I love to have a lot of things a little a lot of different um, instruments to do it with so let's see I think what do you think they should go into dad pink 
Pink. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should I open them up and throw them in the pink? Yes. Oh, see? I could say I have. He's got such big ideas. All right. We're going to do that then. That's what we're going to do. So it goes into the pink. And that'll kind of give you an idea too. We'll count up the pens afterwards to see how many will fit in that small one. And the next one we are going to is the Propus 2 Window Soft Colors. Mm -hmm. So the Propus 2 Window, Propus 2 Window Soft Colors, it's a five pack highlighters. And um, I always wanted to try these first time. It has that little window there that, you know, as you're highlighting, you can see um, what you're highlighting. So you, have you ever been highlighting and you go off the page? Cause you're just going too fast. <laughs> or you're just sloppy like me, maybe. Yeah. So anyway, those are really cute. What should I do, dad? Open them up. Which one? Which one? Pink? Mm. It should go into the yellow. Well, not if you, if you don't want to open them. I should not open them and keep them together. Okay. That way you know <gasps> where those are. Just good idea. You're so smart. Gosh, I'm like, this is why we hang out with each other. Um, let's see. Next up is the uni style, uni style fit singles. I got the this in the twenty. Uh, I'm sorry. I got this in the complete bundle of 16, 16 colors. I don't want you to see those. They're very thin. And they write very, very small in the 0 0.28 millimeter. And what I wanted these for, um, to write in my Bible, like I said, and sometimes those little edges in some of the Bibles I have, there's just not a whole lot of room. So this makes it really easy. So 16 of those. Which one, Dad? Okay. All right. Okay, and then this is... Um, this is these are really really cool this is the koi paper fasteners um in in rings they're called the rings but so if you'll kind of take a peek here so you put it's just a little and you can do this you can actually do this with any um what do you call those tabs um so it just goes say this is your bible put half of it on the edge the other half on a piece of paper write your thoughts on a piece of paper and then you just Fold it back in when you're done and close your Bible. Is that not cool? Those are cool. But who doesn't, I mean, you can do it with any type of tab, any type of tabby or, um, you know what I'm talking about. I'm getting like Biden, Dad. I, I've been like that though. But of course I'm not running the world, so we're good. Um, so anyway, but look how cute, a little ring binder. That is so cool. Just love them. So those, I am definitely going to put those into my, I'll put those there. There we go. Um, and then, oh, I love these. I wrote, okay, let's see if I can say them right. I wrote me curry. I wrote, I wrote me curry? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to, anyway, what these are, these is a color book stickers, and it's just like your paint, um, your, your paint tabs, um, at the, uh, at the store. Look at those. So what these are is that you just take each one off, put them into your planner. Um, I don't think I would put these into my, um, in, into my Bible because I don't know how well they come off. And I just, I don't, you know, unless it's just on a page that doesn't have anything on it, of course. But um, then you can, I was thinking of using these in like maybe like a planner or one of my journals or uh, one of my um, prayer Bibles. Uh, and what I can do is you can like maybe put scripture. Those are my dogs. You can like maybe write a scripture for memorization. I don't know. I was just like, I was looking at all this stuff and I was like, that's a great idea. So, and there's different, there's different colors, uh, colorways that they have too, which I think is really cool. I probably have something else coming. <laughs> I don't, I don't think they do. <laughs> Those are my dogs. If anybody knows me, you know that I have a million dogs. Not a million, but I have quite a few. They're my babies. Um, and then lastly, kind of lastly, these all go together. 
these are really, really cool. This is the Merrowman Mini Session Binder Series 2. This is the Gradient Lemon Soda. That's pretty, isn't it? And the Gradient Sunset. Those are really pretty. Um, so what I got these for actually is um, I do, um, I have been studying Hebrew. Um, I'm not very good at it and I don't know a whole lot, of, whole lot but you know, it's coming along. And so what I, I wanted these for, I thought this was really cool because I got the refills, the smart review. So the smart review, what we, I, I was thinking I was doing, you know that, that was uh, juice up the yellow banana that I had. So what I have here is, what you do is this red, I don't know, cellophane looking piece or whatever it is. You can, you can like write it in yellow here and then write the answer in um, in black or blue probably would work too and then you cover it with the red and so you won't be able to see the yellow and then it's kind of just that's how you do your like your smart review did that make sense I don't know it never makes sense but isn't that cool I, I got these specifically for that it had I have the smart review refills of course I've got quite a few of them because there's words in Hebrew, there's quite a few Hebrew words. <laughs> um, and then I have some lined paper as well. So I've got two of those. And then these are pockets that will fit into the back. They're just zipper pockets that will fit in those as well. Oops, upside down. No, maybe not. There, sorry. Loose leaf. Aren't those really, those are so cool. So I have those. And um, I really thought, I was thinking that I could use this. So one of them I could use for, um, for Hebrew study. And then another one I can use for like, for um, memorizing scripture and things like that. I have the hardest time memorizing anything. As you can tell, my brain um, is going a little bit. So I have, I have a lot of empathy for our president because of that because I know how it feels and I'm a lot younger than he is so you know go him but uh <laughs> if I know that I can't run the country I would hope he would think he could not either but anyway so we have these just you know throwing in my own little my own little things there. thoughts so that was it that's it that's all I got but um I bet you want to know how many pens I have in here huh it holds quite a bit, guys. Look at that. All those pens that I had, just in case you want to know how big these are, kind of give you an idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 22 pens in there and I think there was still more room so that's a lot of I mean if you don't carry a, you know a whole heck of a lot of pens yeah and there's still room to go I have my refills so, there you go on that one and then this one I have those pens and I could probably fit my sessions in there with my highlighters, my pens. Look at that. And there's still room for that. There's a lot of room in these, I love these. They're definitely worth what you pay for them. And they're gorgeous. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot. I just wanted you to kind of show you what I've been doing. I was telling Joel earlier that, you know, um, I, I have had some um, people in the past comment that uh, because I'm, I'm always like worried about how much money I'm spending or, you know, should I be spending um, money on Bibles or or um, or stationery or pens or things like that. I always worry because it's not that Joel gets upset at me for spending money. He's never been upset at me for spending money. But the simple fact is that. I have had a problem with it um, and I see a lot of people have a problem with it but we use excuses um, you know to justify our spending and so when I say that um, you know if I'm buying Bibles um, you know and I get carried away 
with buying Bibles. Um, and I, I, I can see that. And he doesn't get upset, but I can see um, in myself that it's something that I have a problem with, right? Because I can, I can justify anything, spending money on anything. And so I just kind of wanted to clarify that, that um, it's, it's not that Joel gets upset with me buying Bibles or any of this stuff. It's just that I know and I am aware that I have had a, a shopping problem with spending money and um, that's not, you know, that, that things I don't need, that things that I hoard, that I, just makes me feel like I want them. And, and, you know, I can justify buying this stuff by saying, oh, well, uh, you know, I bought all of this because it's gonna, it's, I'm gonna use it for study and I'm gonna use it for knowing full well that I can study without any of this stuff. <laughs> So I just kind of wanted to clarify that. And, and if anybody does that, I'm not judging you. I mean, that's, you know, I'm not judging anybody because only you know um, your heart and, and what you do and, and what, you know, and, and, and how you do things. But I know in my case that I justify things. I justify spending money. I justify um, shopping. I justify eating. I justify with all those things. And I just kind of wanted to you know, kind of clarify that. And, uh, you know, as you grow with, uh, as you grow, uh, with, on your walk with Jesus, um, he starts showing you those things and you start realizing that, boy, I'm, I'm just making excuses for everything. And I can, I can do that. I'm really good at it. So anyway, guys, I just kind of wanted to share, um, some of my, my fun things that I allowed myself to buy. What do you think, Dad? It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> he's, he's having his snack. Uh, I do, uh, You know what? I'm so proud of Joel. Can I just tell you all that I'm really, really super proud of Joel? Um, that he uh, is, has been taking his health very seriously. And, um, and, and, and I know it looks like he's going to eat that whole jar of peanut butter, but he's not. This is his snack. He's having a little snack, and he's been losing weight, and he's been doing a great job and I'm really proud of him. So uh, not so much for myself. I've been making excuses. <laughs> we need justifying. To, I've been justifying it, yes. And I need to change that, yes. I need to change it. Anyway, guys, again, I love you all. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day, beautiful rest of your night, beautiful rest of your week. God bless. And we will talk to you all later. Love you. Bye. Bye.